surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Eat of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a coffee table with hula hoops. I'll be using three hula hoops for this project. And I'm going to be starting off by joining two together before then adding the third one. Now this held the hoops together, but not the shape. The shape is not staying the way I want it to be. So I'm going to be using zip ties and hopefully this is going to hold the shape in place. Okay, the zip tie seems to be working and I'm pretty excited about that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the third hoop. I'm going to be adding the third hoop in such a way that it's going to create a nice pattern and at the same time it is leveled to make sure that I can put something on top of it and it stays flat. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. So if you want to make this, I'll recommend using zip ties only because it works perfectly fine. This structure is strong on its own, but it won't be able to carry heavy things as I want to use it as a coffee table. So I'm going to have to fill it in with something. But first I'm going to be cutting pipes to keep the shape in place while I add cement inside all of the hoops. I got this pipe cutter from Home Depot, but I will leave a link for it down in the description box below. I cut two already, so I'm going to be cutting the third one to make it three. This is just to keep it balanced. Now I'm going to be making holes on top of the hoops that are right at the top using a drill gun with a wide drill bit and it's just for the top, not at the bottom. And then I'm going to make the hole even wider using a pair of scissors. This is how wide I want the holes to be. Now, unfortunately for me, when I was making the holes for one of the hoops, I mistakenly drilled it right to the bottom here. So I'm going to be covering up the bottom part that's open with duct tape. I'm also going to be covering the parts here that I had screwed in because it's going to be open and I want every opening to be closed except for the ones that I made at the top. The next thing I'll do is take a mixture of cement and water. Now this is a watery consistency to make sure that it goes all around the hoop. I'm going to be pouring it in through the hole, but first in a little bottle to make it easy for me to transfer the liquid into the hoops.
And guys, guess what? The structure held up pretty well without the pipes. So I didn't really need the pipes after all. The joints did not sag thanks to the zip ties. I'm going to clean off the cement that's on the hoops and then leave it overnight to set properly. The next thing in the morning, I removed all the tapes that I had on the hoops. I am pretty satisfied with this shape. I took it out and I spray painted it silver. I used this Krylon silver spray paint and I got it from Michael's craft store. I need a wide glass for the project and this is what I could get from the thrift store, but it was too small. So I'm gonna clean it down properly, keep it aside, and then mix something that's gonna be on the outer side to make it appear wider. Now that I'm done with this one, I'm going to keep it aside and then take a piece of wood that I have at home and then draw out a large circle and another circle on the inside and cut out the shape that I want. I'll be decorating this wooden circle that I've just cut with adhesive mirror sheets into a lot of tiny strips that are going to be 0.5 inches wide. I spray painted the board that I cut silver and drew lines on them that's going to guide me on where the strips will be attached. I cut shorter ones that are going to be attached in between all the longer ones. Like I said before, I'm making this design because the glass that I got for the table is small. So this is going to be the outer design while the glass is going to be in the middle. This side here is a little bit higher than that side. So I put something there to raise it up a bit. So I put the design and the glass and this is what it looks like. I'll be attaching the wood to the hoops much later when I'm sure of where I want the glass that's in the middle to be. Now this is how it looks when the glass is on top. And then much later, I attach the glass at the bottom. And it's much better. That way you don't get to see the outer line of the glass at the top. I took a couple of videos with the glass at the top and with the glass at the bottom. So you will be seeing different clips of both sides of the glass. I added lights at the bottom just to see what it was going to look like. It didn't make too much of a difference, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> now who would have thought that you can get a strong structure for a coffee table with hula hoops? Now this was made stronger with cement and I love the way it turned out. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.